So I took off the part, the part and you can see that brown piece right there. That piece of metal goes through it and it detects the load. And then it plugs in on the other side as a three prong plug. Um, 7 June, you guys just pull it right out the top of the fuse box and put another one in. Here, they got it this way. Alright, I got it all snapped back together. All I gotta do is put my fuses and relays back in there. And also, those two little plastic bits, they have a little tab. Right down in there, it's metal. You push it, and then with a the flat blade, there's a little ridge right there and you could pop them out. There's two of them. When you remove all these fuses and relays, it allows it to unplug from the bottom. It's like a three layer thing. It's take a lot of pictures and um, put it back to re together right. This right here, this whole top piece just snaps back in. You get a screwdriver here and kind of wedge it a little bit. Don't go hard, you'll break the plastic. And uh, I'm gonna put it back in the car. I'm gonna add some pictures as well. You'll see them here in a little bit. So there's the wiring. Once you get it all put it back together on top, you can plug it in. Now these plugs are dummy proof, so you can they only fit in their designated slot. This main harness, you unclip it from over here, and it's like a hinge right here. You pull this up and it kicks it out. Don't try to mess with that black tab. Also, when you try to put this bottom plastic shell, I'm talking about this part down in here. It just clips back in. It doesn't hold really good, but you got to look here. A long piece of plastic that's connected to the top. It slides. See how it slides? It's connected. It's like a tab that holds it in. That tab is the bottom piece. And the long plastic piece that goes down, that's the top piece. All right, let me put these back together. These screws, all these little screws, they're torqued in really high. So if you try to use a regular handheld, Screwdriver, you'll probably strip them. I push down on it real hard and reverse it. And those two are nine millimeters. Now as we put it back together, the ECU has three bolts, one there, one there, and one there. They're 10 millimeter. When they snap in, there's three clips. They're hinged at the bottom. So that top part will move to the driver's side where this fuse box is and then it'll push itself out. So you don't have to be rough with it. Also, don't forget this cable that goes into here has a little tab right there. It has to go over onto this side. See it? Because if not, it'll be stuck over here and you won't be able to put the cover back on. Here's that. Um, OBD2 dash parameter monitor that I got. Uh, you can set the first one, you can set the second one, but you cannot change this bottom one. That's your voltage. Now, let me go ahead and start it up. This is a manual. I'm pushing the clutch. And there we are. We're charging back up 13.8, 13.9. It's got three buttons on here. The middle button is, uh, I can't see it because it's dark, but the middle button is your menu. The left changes that top one. See there? Anyways, you get the idea. And, uh, that's it. You can go into the settings on that some more. It'll tell you a whole bunch of stuff like the air temperature and your intake, everything. That's it, that wraps it up. We're sitting at 13.9, 13.614. So now the ELD is working. If y'all like this video, man, I put in a lot of work tearing down this uh, fuse panel, fuse box, whatever you want to call it up under the hood. Uh, if you got any questions, holler at me, subscribe. See y'all later.